Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Zetdeck, and today we're playing some more King of Retail. So, we're hoping that today is going to be the last day in the pop-up clothes shop that we are currently running. We're getting straight into it. Yeah, the cash is just insane. You know, when you're just too good at a game. Yeah, I'm not even going to carry that on. The arrogance will catch up with me, and it will backfire. My actual store will end up going bankrupt or something stupid. We're flying through these... Um, through these things we're trying to get to at least 20,000 before we start opening our own shop from what I've been told so yeah right I am we're basically empty in here I'm getting to the point where I need a cashier but I refuse I will not order a cashier order yes we buy cashiers um, we've just got a few things on the shelf there'll be things that people have put down <clears throat> it's fine we're in no rush. The till's open. We can come in and start and unpacking this. Come on. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, you very nearly filled that. Surely I wouldn't need another one. That'd just be ridiculous, right? <clears throat> well, we've got three days left here, so I'm not going to bother getting any more um, cages in the corners. We, we don't need them. And once we've um, searched through all the searched, yes, once we've searched through all these, all of these shelves will be full. Hopefully nobody whistles before then. Can you help me? Sorry, no. How do you know I'm in here? You're not allowed to know that information. That's that secret staff information. Oh, three items over. Right. If I do that, and then that, I know I've only got to go to each rack once. I'm just going to check that it's not this rack. I heard them whistle. I'm trying to load the shelves up. Are you coming to the... Yes, you are. Let's try and do these middle racks first. I'm trying to load the racks. She's coming to the till. I hate your face. Go, go. Shut up a minute. All right, we've done one portion of the shop. That's good. Again, I am going to complain at what time these guys are coming shopping, but then again, they could complain at the time that I'm opening. Although, I am open literally all day. Got all the shoes over here. I guess we can start loading the back wall up. I keep speeding it up, but I'm scared in case I miss a customer. We don't want to miss any customers if I can help it. You're coming to the till where you can wait a minute. Dingus. As if you'd come to the till now. He's going to whistle. Good. We're getting there. Back wall's nearly loaded up. Yes, those dresses look like they go proper well with those jackets. Dress? It's a skirt. I know I'm bad with clothing and all, but... Jesus, I'm, I shouldn't be that bad. Go. Put the shoes up. Why did I get two different lots of bright green shoes? No whistle, no whistle. Ah! Let's go. So there's nothing fancy about this store whatsoever. We're literally just selling everything. Yeah, the shelves should all be empty, right? We can just relax on the tills for a day now. And it's only half six in the morning. It's somewhat annoying, this shop is. It's like the least effort I've put into a shop, but it makes the most money. You're going to buy one of those? Not in a million years? Well... Not in a million years yourself. Thank you. Bye. I thought she was actually going to pick one up then. She was stood there that long. 7am. Already getting busy. We're just keeping our eye out for anybody outside. Anybody asking for some help? Let's go. You want that, do you? Yeah. Boom. Thanks. Surely that need is enough for him to buy it. Why were you looking at it then, you buffoon? Maybe I should have got his need up as well. I am really trying to sell to all, all the peoples. Come on. Come on. You out there. You're only getting quick sales. Just get in the shop. Thanks. Ooh, that got some rep up. Anybody want a hand? Anybody in or out of the shop? Wait, didn't you just leave and then come back in? What? 
I'm sure I'll watch somebody in a blue shirt leave. Why do you all keep walking in and then leaving? You haven't seen this. Thank you. Good. Get in here. Oh. <clears throat> so we've got an early morning recording for you this morning. No need to take it out in the microphone. Um, I've actually got stock take today, so I don't start till 3 p.m. I didn't mean to do a quick sale there, but that worked. Uh, it's going to be a late one. If I manage to leave for 2 a.m. tomorrow, I'd be a happy person. I'm sure I was recording King of Retail the last time I had a stock take. In fact, no, I can't have been. It was a while ago. I've complained about stock takes before during King of Retail, though. Shut up, I'm talking to somebody. I know I went radio silent there. My brain went into meltdown mode. Oh, you like the uh, the skirt there, do you, sir? I've got a second to try and cons console her. Sway her. We just say sway, it's a smaller word. My mind can handle it. I'm committed now. Thank you. Yeah, that's it, buy all of them. It would be cool if the article hype made them like actually want to buy more of said item. Not even dinner time yet. Ooh, yes, we can. Unless somebody whistles, I will try and do the proper sale. Boom. Thanks. I don't know what I was doing at the end there. Just spam clicking. Let's go. Anybody else? I'm not so much bothered about going outside to get people in. I'm more bothered about getting the people that's in to spend. Try and get that hit rate all the way up. Anybody? Anybody need assistance? It doesn't look like I'll be getting off a till anytime soon. Did a time rush? Oh, look at all the people. Look at all the people. Now, I can't really... Um, use the amount that we're going to take today as like a, um, a clickbaity title or anything like that. I can't help you all. Well, actually, I could have done. I was just stood there being lazy. Uh, yeah, I can't use that because I don't know how much I started with, really, so I don't know how much I'll be earning. Well, we can check. That's what your, um, your board's for in the office. Stupid. We've got two seconds for you, lady. Uh, buy one of them. Great idea. Good. Damn it. I've not got time to put any effort into trying to sell it to people. They either want it or they don't when we're starting to get this busy. I get scared. We don't want people huffing and blowing and walking out at the tills. It's just not good for business. There's a nice rush. Clear the store out a bit. Hey, dude. Buy some of these shoes. They match your jumper. Coming. Oh, I managed to do that properly as well. A quick sale? Yeah, you absolutely want those. They'd go with the ready coloured pink hoodie thing that you've got on. Not doing very well with some of the sales there. But again, that's why I need sales staff. But again, I refuse to buy sales staff in a pop-up store. Until we get our own store, we're not playing the game how I properly would play it. We're going to do everything. That way it means we're going to earn as much money as possible. Well, at least that's the plan. I guess I could have just grabbed some staff for this place. They'd have only been employed for a few days. And if they were good in sales, then it could have boosted my takings. But then again, this store's not going bankrupt, so do we really need to be here anymore? I mean, we are going to be here anymore, but... Hmm... I just want to get to the part where, um, you know, we've got our own store. We're actually going to hit six digits. Obviously, pens doesn't count. 100k. Boom. Well, uh, all I can say is I wish that was in my bank account. I think you asked first. Quick sale. 
uh, buy these. Go. Thanks. Yes. Hey, hey who's in there? You might need a quick sale. I think somebody's going to the tilt. Uh, you want one of these hoodies? Right, if you're not going to consider buying it, then just get out of my shop. Thank you. I thought there was fire outside then. Yeah, you will leave. Beige shirt, I see you. Coming in and taking up my valuable time. Yeah, of course I do, dude. Of course I do. Boom. Boom. Happy days. He's definitely going to be buying that. What was he trying to buy? Was it the t-shirt? I thought I had the same t-shirts and different ranks then. That would have been upsetting. How long have we got? It's till 10 o'clock, right? Wouldn't it be nice if we could finish off with 110 grand? Everybody spent... Well, Alright then. I was about to say everybody spends about a grand. No, no they don't. <sighs> Oh, so close. If I'd made me gone to help that lady, we'd have got 110. I'm fairly sure it's okay where it is. Right, all we need to do, no emails, beautiful. Come in here and orders, reorder sales, add. Boom, boom. We're basically starting on 80k. So let's try and remember that one, shall we? And then we can see how much cash we've actually got as well. Like, career cash. Mm, 76 grand, we'll call it. The only way I could get these up anymore... We're on 15 grand, it is getting there. The only way I could get this up anymore is if we sold, like, literally everything. And had, like... A full team of marketers, a full team of uh, sales staff. But why would you want to get the multipliers that high? For XP? Mm. Nothing got put back on the shelves. Nope. Right, you absolutely shouldn't fill both of these. Although, I should be checking. Yeah, we've got less stock to put out today than we did yesterday. Apparently, I can't talk this early in the morning. I say this early in the morning, it's five minutes to ten, just so you know. Had a bit of a lie-in. Again, staying up till stupid o'clock while at work. Kind of didn't want to be getting up early, although I could have done with staying up a bit later last night. But once I'd finished doing, well, I streamed me playing Resident Evil Mercenaries onto Discord. And I then did an actual stream and finished off Visage with um, with help from Aquarex Blue and uh, Studley. What are you lot doing at 3am? Uh, but yeah, Visage is done now. My next game has been decided for the um, Idea You Challenge, Layers of Fear, I believe it is. I did watch the um, trailer for it yesterday after Aqua had linked it to me. Mm, it looks creepy. I don't think it looks as creepy as Visage, but that's um, still to be seen. Until I've actually played it, we can't judge. This is where sales assistance would come in useful. We got up to the pink shirt. Oh, I missed all of them, Rose. Up to the pink shirts. Let's go. Well, I guess it's better that we didn't quite sell everything. So there's more stuff out for people to pick from. And I guess that's bringing more customers in earlier. Which is kind of screwing me a little bit. A little help? No. I'm doing these shoe racks before you don't care. What's with the queues at this time in the morning? Holy Christ, go to bed. You don't need trainers that badly. Have you ever seen inside this staff room? It's brilliant. Boom. I love it when my staff room's got like no chairs or anything. Ooh, move. We should have no boxes left on the shelves. Yeah, we're good for the day. Time to sit back, relax, and just watch the cash coming in. So what were we on? Hi. About 76 grand. Hello. 
I think you're only getting a quick sale. Wow. If you'd have not bought that, I'd have been less than impressed then. Yeah, these, these are the part-time shoppers. None of those broke like £500. You know when the proper shoppers come in, when we start taking thousands. I hear you, lady. I'm coming. If we go like that and point our camera back at the tail. Crap. I spam clicked too much. She still bought him. That's good. Got you. Mm, I don't really care to talk to you about it. I just want to sell you. I'm not going to go with category. I think he's good on category. Thanks. And you there, lady. Buy one of these shirts. Maybe. I don't know. Well... Boom. <laughs> now you know. Now you know. How can you persuade somebody that much in a shirt that they weren't sure about that they absolutely need to buy it? I mean, don't get me wrong. I know there's like sales tips and tricks you can do, like persuade the art of persuasion and stuff like that, but come on. If somebody's like, I don't know if I want to buy that, how can you physically get them to the point where it's like, I need that shirt. Oh my god, give it to me. I don't know. I mean, the best thing I can do is when somebody asks me what I think of a product, it's like, eh, I wouldn't get that one, I'd get this one. And it doesn't matter if I'm recommending a product that's cheaper or costs more. I'm honest about it. Ooh. It's like, if I've tried the product <clears throat> and it costs a lot and I know it's trash, it's like, yeah, don't buy it. Shouldn't really admit that, but... The, the way I see it is, if I tell them that it's good... Whoa, lady. If I tell somebody that a product that costs a lot, it costs a lot, is good, and they then buy it and it turns out to be trash, they've then got to come back and they're more likely to put a complaint in. If they're trying to buy a product that costs a lot and I tell them that it's actually rubbish not to buy it and that we sell a cheaper option that actually does a better job, then I'm actually more likely to get more trade to come back because they're going to be like, well... He saved me money, and he told me what was actually better suited for the job I needed. The only example I can think of at the minute is mops. We've got some proper fancy mops that are like four or five pound. And these cheaper ones that work so much better. And I know you're thinking, right, a mop? How can a mop be either great or not? But you'd be surprised. Shouldn't really have spent that much time doing that then. We might end up with a back up queue. But again, this is only my personal experience. And it's how I would work in any shop. Not specifically where I work now, so. Hmm. I guess it's still not things I should really be saying. But anyway, I've never mentioned where I work, so shut up. Nobody can say anything. We needed some quick sales there and it backfired. I'll get to you right after this gentleman. You want some shoes, do you? Oh, don't ask me what you want. Hey, have a minute. Hi. That's all you got. Thanks. Ooh, we're getting quite good at this now. I know it's literally clicking a few times. You're getting a mega quick sale because that looked like a just tidal wave of people was coming to the tills there. Glad I could help. Move. I got there right as you whistled. You could even see me walking towards the till, you douche. Uh, buy them. Great idea. Uh, glad you liked it. Didn't like it that much. Uh, excuse me, madam. I'm stood here. Do you mind? Mm, can't really get off a till at the minute. She was before him, so we'll go for two quick sales. And then there was one behind me. Hey, 
Thanks. I don't know which one was first out of these two. Oh, oh, I pressed on him and everything. I was about to say we are just master salesmen there. Oh my god. They keep coming in swarms. I hate that they keep getting stuck on each other in the game. Um, you all shattered roughly at the same time, so I have no idea who's first. Thank you. This is what I'm talking about. This is proper salesmanship. We're doing all of it, and look up. No, I can't keep doing all of it. Holy Christ. The amount of cash we take, though. Cloth shops are definitely uh, profitable. And again, I put very little effort into this shop. I just slap stuff down everywhere and it's working. I do think we're going to have to do another contract, though, after we've done this one. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're just going to be able to go and buy our own shop straight off the bat. Buy one of them. Yes, that's perfect. Well, you shouldn't need persuading then. So I sold a shirt to somebody that didn't want that shirt. And I can't sell a jacket to somebody who absolutely wants that jacket. I don't know if you're going to the till or leaving, so I'm going to this lady. She was leaving. I'm glad I didn't spin around. Yep. What are you after? You're after one of these, aren't you? Great idea. Well, you stood in front of it, so it's more your idea than mine. Wait. That's the lady that I just sold to, walking behind? Thanks. Why did you not want that? I'm sure I got your hype and everything up. So we're on about 76 grand. We still earned a lot. It would be nice if we could earn a hundred grand in a day, but I don't think that shop, uh, this shop's cut out for that sort of thing. Not got long left now. <laughs> There's not much left in the shop. I'm not being funny. I could probably order more stock than I needed, but then we're getting into the territory of I need somebody to fill the shelves. Right, how are we going to go about the staff this time? I think. It'd make the most sense to start with a cashier. So I've not got to stand here all day. Because then I can start ordering more stock. And I can keep stocking things up. Uh, you want these? Oh, alright then. Yes, that's perfect. Really? I don't... Just get out. Just get. I, I don't know what happened with any of that. My brain literally just melted. Can you see it running out of my headset? Absolutely did not know what was happening there. I mean, how do you decide what to order more of them? That's the thing. Do I just order double the amount of all the stock that we've got? But that's where it gets silly, because that's when you need a huge warehouse... Everybody's out, everybody's out. That's when you're going to need a huge warehouse for all the stocks. And literally, just coming in here, we're ordering it, and then we're going back in. No messing about, orders, reorder, at all. We took slightly more than the day before. Only slightly, though, like two grand more. But look at that cash, £110,000. Oh, baby. It'd be easier to remember 110000 we, we made like 40 grand profit though. Levels aren't quite going up as quickly anymore. It's, it is somewhat to be expected. Well, it's absolutely to be expected. Why would you level up the same all the way through? In fact, there's only one game I can think of where leveling's consistent all the way through the game. And that's Phasmophobia because the levels realistically, unless it's changed, don't serve that much of a purpose i know back when i actually played it there was meant to be rumor that the higher level you were the more the ghost hunted you and stuff like that but it's just traits of the ghost on how often it hunts you and again i'm speaking from like uh old experience i know there's been a fair few big updates recently so yeah 
I may have to go back to that at some point. I do miss Phasmophobia to a degree. I do think I overplayed it a little bit back in the uh, in the day when I was re recording it and stuff, though. Oh my god, we're busy already. How about we start from this end of the shop for once? Boom. And get those on, get those on. Hey, a little help. Sh shut up. I said just stand in front of the customer who's asking for help and put stock out. No, no I don't spare two seconds, I spare no seconds. In fact, I shouldn't prioritise this end of the shop because it's only shoes. It is generally the clothes that people are after. Yes, I know shoes are clothes, but you shut up. Just splitting hairs now. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, have a minute. Beautiful. I expect we're going to get whistled out in a second. Ooh, if we can do this, we've only got the racks in the middle to do. Beautiful. So, because it's going to be a while before we get to the point where I'm actually running my own shop, I would like feedback. I know I'm well in front with my recording, so this episode isn't going out for like another week and a half from where I've recorded it. I probably need to calm that down a little bit, but... <clears throat> what are people's opinions? Should we do, like, a men's, uh, a men's clothing line and a women's clothing shop? Line. You know, separate shops, or should we just do a clothing store? Computers, well, electronics, should we do a computer store and a phone and tablet store? And then for the foods, should we do, like... Well, I don't even know how you'd split the foods. They'd be like... We could actually do a small version and a medium version of every shop, really, couldn't we? A uh, small and a large version. Like, you get your little uh, convenience stores that sell a few of everything. And then you get your huge shops, which is what I was trying to do in my first series. Where they sell everything of everything. I've got a second. Um, I just want to sell to you. Your patience ran out awfully quick. It seems like I was talking to myself while I was at work. I'll try and get across to your lady, but the queue seems pretty consistent. No, oh, screw you. It's fine, it's fine. Helps if you get on your tilt before you stand there in fast forward time. But yeah, let me know what you think about the shops, how we should split it up, or should we just do big shops, or should we do small versions of the shops, and then, when we've got profit coming in, make a bigger version of the same sort of shops. Let me know, please. Boom. 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 Yes. I've got a second for a quick sale. Hopefully she will buy them still. She did buy them still. Uh, I've got time for a quick sale because I think people come into the tills and actually. I'm glad that I put a little bit more time into that one. She does look like she's going to actually buy something. Yeah. Worth. Also, anybody else seen any more games in this sort of genre? Oh. I got reputation up for that. I didn't make the sale, but I got reputation up. There is one game that I've seen. It was actually on Game Edge's Discord ages ago. It was back when I was recording the first um, series of this. You've got time for a quick sale. Um, Flaffle Shop. I don't even know what Falafel is, but apparently you cook it... You own your own restaurant. You run your own restaurant. Seems like the same style of game. You know, run your own shop. And it does seem to do well on my channel, so. Anybody fancy uh, me doing a series of that? Again, you'll have to let me know. Let me know if there's any other games like this. I need to see if there's like a tag on um, Steam where I can look for just retail-based games. Thanks. Although it's not that I'm going to have experience in any other sort of retail. I only work this sort of retail. Well, falafel shop wouldn't be retail, would it? It's fast food. Um, dude, what are you doing? You, If you screw my entire queue. 
I need like, <laughs> I almost said a fence around where my queue is. I need a rail. I'm sorry, but you d dudes are going to have to decide what you want yourself. We were on 106,000-ish. So we've already made 30 grand and we're like halfway through the day. But this is when we've got the good stock in still. Just looking at them numbers. I did consider running across to that lady then. But by the time I'd made my mind up, you can have a sale because you're right behind me. Only a quick sale. I hate you. I shouldn't have got off the till. Absolutely can't afford to get off the till now. Decide yourselves, for God's sake. Really? Really? Oh my god. So faster, Dyke. So faster. Go, go, go. I almost wanted to complain about that woman's shopping taking too long to ring up because it was over a thousand pounds, but... You can't really complain about somebody spending too much, can you? Well, unless they're like... Your other half or something like that, then you can absolutely complain about them spending too much. We've got time. I'll serve you. Uh, you want this jumper hoodie? Yes, that's perfect. Good. Buy it. Boom. The, uh, a way that I see they could make this game more difficult. Why was she like right up in the other woman's grill? Just like, I was here first. Get out of the way. Um, is if your character had skills to level up. Obviously, my character would have to be max skill in absolutely everything, because it's just how good I am. Um, I heard you. You want these shoes, right? Thought you did. Ooh, the shelves look a bit um, picked over today, don't they? I can't serve all of you at once. Um, you want these. Interesting. Tell me more. The trousers. Thanks. Boom. Sold him. <laughs> Closing down sale. Everything must go. You know, if I... End up, I know it's not going to work like this, but if I could take this cash that we made that's profit on top of what we started with, that'd be so nice. We'd definitely be set up to going into our own shop next episode. I don't, I don't really care. All right, then. I literally told her I don't care, and she's just like, I'll buy it. I'll take your entire stock, please. Hi. Spare two seconds. Hey, got, a second. got time for some quick sales. That's about your lot. It's a shame because she had, like, legendary category need. You want one of these shirts? Great idea. Thought it was. Thanks. Shut up. We're doing it. We're doing it. Sell. Damn it. Can we get to 86,000? Because then we'll have taken 80 grand in a day. And that's something that I can use. <laughs> I'm not going for clickbaity titles, I promise. If, um, if this series does anywhere near as well as my last King of Retails uh, series, then I'm going to be well away. Um, you want that skirt. Maybe I don't know. You. you didn't take much persuading, dude. I think you already knew. Yes, lady. It's for his, uh, it's of other half, really, isn't it? It's just like, yeah. I th Wait, did he just pick that up and leave? Yeah, she'll look good in this skirt. Hmm. Oh, So nearly got 86 grand. We did basically take 70 grand in a day, though, didn't we? This is the last day in this shop, though. Oh, boy. Is it the last day, though? I'm going to add all again, just in case. I'd worked it out that this was day number 10, and we completed the contract. I think we're going to run longer then, if that's the case. 
we can get one more day in. I am going to overrun a little bit, but I know you guys don't mind that watch uh, King of Retail. We're now convenient stuff. No, it's still there. We are on 17 grand. It's getting there. Store record. Completion bonus. This would actually get me over the 20 grand I needed. The store will close in 10 days. Earn as much as you can. We could have hired staff. This has got to be day number 10 then. Yeah, we'll get this done. <clears throat> And then I'm hoping it will say complete to contract when we get to the end of it. Why have I got stuff in here? Have I got two items of clothing in here and four boxes? I think we're not going to have enough room to unpack all this now. Oh boy. He does normally come back a little bit later and I'm sure I read in the patch notes they'd made it so that he does two round trips in one day we just sold too much we're just too good it's 240 products well it's more than 240 products that we shifted on our own might I add how about we stick with the name Aiden for our uh, delivery driver it's the same person from last time. Ooh, you've only just whistled. Can I fill these things up down here? There's one pair of shoes missing there. Yeah, there's going to be like nobody in here for now. Right, everything's unpacked. That's good. We'll serve these two. Shut your face. And then we can start really stocking up. I don't think we'd have taken more money by having staff. I forgot to speed time up then. There was no reason for the concentration phase. Let's go. These racks are just bit. I'm sorry, you're going to have to wait. We, we need to get these stocked up. These are the things that bring more people in. And this is with a low population area. Imagine if it was a high population area. Go, go, go. I don't want to lose any more popularity. Shouldn't have left it on hype speed. Oh my god. Could you please let me just get the racks filled before you all come in at 6am? I kid you not, our shop, we don't actually get to work until 6am. Unless it's Christmas, then it's normally 5am. That's silly. Oh. Just to upset you. Well, it upsets me, so whatever. I hate Christmas time, just from working in retail. I used to absolutely love it, as I'm sure most people do. But working in retail, getting up at like quarter to four in the morning to get to work for five o'clock. Dealing with customers' attitudes around Christmas. It's meant to be a season of happiness and stuff like that, but it's a season of dread. Anybody that works in retail, I'm fairly sure, will agree with me. If you work in retail, let me know your worst experience from a customer at Christmas. I've literally had somebody screaming at me because we'd sold out of a certain toy. And again, I, I'm not mentioning what toys it was because it'd limit what um, shop I could work in, but... I don't make the toys. Do you think I am some sort of Santa's little elf? I can assure you, I'm not. I really am not. And we don't hide stock in the back, contrary to what people believe. It's not really how businesses work. I must get asked that a million times a day. Excuse me, um, there's none of these on your shelf. Have you got any in the back? No? 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 Because if we kept it in the back... People wouldn't be able to buy it, and then if people couldn't buy it, we'd kind of not take any money, we'd not have a job, and I wouldn't be here. Thanks. In fact, it was Bank Holiday Monday for me yesterday. My most loathed question all day is when you answer the phone and people say, are you open? No, I just enjoy coming into work to sit 
and answer the phone until you were closed. Because there's not like an answer machine function that could do that if we ever closed. Bearing in mind we only closed for two days and that's Easter, Sunday and Christmas Day. Um, are you open today? Just like, I, I so could say no. I could, but I could also then lose my job. <laughs> are you open today? Nope. So why did you answer the phone? Bored. Took the phone home with me. Because it connects from my house to here. Yeah, I've got a second. Why not? I'm just generally moaning about customers. I'll come and serve one of you. Uh, just a quick sale. Just, just a quick sale. That'll do. I'm not going to be able to get to you in time, are you? Serpentine. Serpentine! We got him. But I do always enjoy hearing other people's bad customer stories. I mean, everybody's got one. At least one. If you work in retail, you've got to have dealt with one imbecilic customer that either thinks that they're right about an item or they know how the shop works better than you. I mean, yeah, if you're dealing with a new member of staff, you might know better about a certain shop than somebody else, but... Mm, it's more when they try and argue with the likes of me that's like part of the woodwork nowadays. I, I do sometimes get to the point where I could hand my keys and my clocking in card over and it's just like, oh, you know the shop, here you go, then you can do my job, bye, I'm leaving. But, uh, again, kind of can't do that. I, I will be honest about my job, but it's only to a certain point, like I say, anything I do say could get me in trouble. But that's why I'll never mention where I work. And again, same as last series, if anybody does know where I work, you do not say. I will be less than impressed with you if you say where I work. Or if anybody tracks down where I work, that also wouldn't be good. Nobody be nosy. You're not allowed to find where I work. For all you know, I work from home. I run a retail shop in this bedroom. Um, why is the back wall already empty? It's like 2 a.m. Uh, 2 it's 2 p.m. I don't think I'm about to get to serve both of you gents. Thanks. Quick! I'm pressing E! Hey. Duh. The shoes don't seem to go as well as, like, the normal clothes. The normal clothes. The t-shirts and the pants. Trousers. The trousers. Are people just not as bothered about shoes, or did I just pick the wrong sorts of shoes? Although we have got a nice variety. Holy Christ, everybody's coming in. Are we going for 200 grand today? 1400. What the Christ? Dude's bought most of my shop. We're absolutely hitting 200 grand today, aren't we? Absolutely. Although we've got these idiots that are spending like 100 pound each. Come on, more. I want more. That's better. Hey, excuse me. Hey, got a second. Hey, can you help me? Mm, I've not got long. Thank you. Um, just buy one of them. Yes, that's perfect. Good, buy it. Thanks. She's not whistled yet, so I've got a second. Quick sale. Thank you. Oh ho ho ho! We're running past people just going, buy that, buy that, buy that. And they're just like, yes, all right, then I will do. Oh, my Christ. 200 grand. I wouldn't use 200 grand in the title, though, because that could be mis misconstrued. I don't take 200 grand in a day. That would be absurd. Where do we think this game could go, then? Like, expansion-wise. What, what else could they do? I mean, obviously, there's going to be little tweaks and stuff they can do to how the game works. That's not what I mean. Like, literally. What else could they add to the game to make it bigger? I guess they could do it so that um, fast food is a thing as well. But then you're getting away from retail and you're getting into fast food, a completely different genre. But surely they could have it work on the systems that's in this. Maybe they'd have it so that you'd, they'd have to, um, well, you'd more focus on cashiers, wouldn't you? You wouldn't really want restockers. Or would you want people to, 
Hmm. A row of cash registers. In the back, you'd have the... Well, stockers would double up as cooks. And they'd cook to order? I don't know. I don't know how it'd work. But I think that'd be brilliant. If we could make, like, our own Dak Donalds. <laughs> and that's the only thing I could think of off the top of my head. I know. I know, right? Cheesy. I'm full of cheesy comments. It's the way forward. Cheese and sarcasm. I don't know how much cash we started on, by the way, so I, I can't even. Yeah, it looks brilliant. Yeah, I wouldn't buy it either. We've got lots of empty racks again. 30 minutes left and this should be the end of our contract for this shop. Maybe the first day doesn't count, the setup day. Maybe it's 10 days actual sales. But we've done two episodes with three days in and this is the third episode with four days in. Uh. I, I don't even know anymore. I don't even know. Because why would it let me order more stock if the shop is shut? We're not doing another day, just so you know. I'm just curious as to what's happening. Go to city. The store will close in 10 days. Earn as much as you can. It's been 10 days, right? I'm going to have to go and check what day we actually started this on. So that we're now on Monday the 15th of January. There's City Hall where we need to go. Well, I'm going to save the game there and we're going to finish it off so I can go and check this. Because I'm sure this should have shut by now. It's either that or we've got like one more day to do, but... I'm sure I did more days than that. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's episode. A slightly longer one, but again, I know you lot that watch King of Retail generally like the longer episodes, so you don't get any apologies from me this time. Uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode, so thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to hear some more. All comments and feedback greatly appreciated, as always. And in the description below is a link to mine and Acrex Blue's Discord server. Come join, be part of the community, and get notifications live as to when we're going on Twitch, or when we're just streaming uh youtube recordings into to, uh, discord or anything like that it's all fun and games come join anyway i'll see you guys next time cheers